Hayley, we're going to have to fight against the background noise. Yeah. Can we manage that, do you think? I think so. I can. Can you? <laughs> so, as long as we laugh a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Raise I'm going to put voices. the battery in. Okay. So what I would like you to do, please, is to count us down five, four, three, two, one. Okay. And then we'll go. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. All right. Right, here we go. Five. Hang on. Oh, four. Three, two, one. How would you describe yourself in a sentence? Um, I am a Kiwi girl um, from Christchurch, singer. That's not really, really a sentence, is it? <laughs> Bunch of words. <laughs> You mentioned Christchurch. Before we start talking about the singing, you performed actually at the Christchurch Memorial event. Yes, um, I did, and it was um, it was pretty weird actually being back in Christchurch. Um, you know, having having originally you know seen my hometown on the news and the devastation, then going back home um, after the earthquake. After the earthquake, yes, um, and seeing it firsthand and. Being back with Christchurch people, that was great, you know, being back with my, my fellow Cantabrians and, and having the opportunity to sort of give them some support. But um, it's pretty, quite a tough time actually for everyone. Is it hard living the other side of the world from where you were brought up? It's, um, it has its ups and downs. I, at times, I absolutely adore living in London. Um, I mean, there's so much going on. There's like, you only have to step out you know, of your door, out of your home, and you know, there's just, there's activity everywhere. And I find that exciting. But um, my whole family, they're, they're still back in New Zealand. Um, they will be for <laughs> probably for the rest of time. So um, maybe not my brother and sister, they're eyeing up my spare room. But um, I, you know, I, yeah, I miss my family. So that's, that's the downside. What was it like becoming well known when you were 16? Um, it, I can't really remember much from, from back then. I just took everything in my stride. Um, and it's not, it's, it's not till like you get a bit older that you really appreciate um, what's, what you've been given, the opportunities and um, yeah. So at the time I was just like, okay, cool. I have an album coming out. This is what I want to do. This is what I'm doing. You know, <laughs> it's, um, it was all a bit just sort of, yeah, I just took it in my stride. Do you keep an eye on how many albums you've sold? Um, no, I don't really have a way of tracking that, and they don't really, the record company don't really update you on those things. It's all about the next album. <laughs> Did you feel that you missed out on a normal life by becoming so famous so young? <clears throat> um, I, I missed out on some normal things, like um, I missed out on a few teenage parties and, and the like, but um, probably not a huge loss. Um, <laughs> I... Um, yeah, I mean, at time, when I was, like, I got my record contract with Universal Music New Zealand, age 13. So, that, at age 14, that was, the album was released, and I was, I started travelling, actually, about that age, and that was quite a tough age to sort of be away from my friends, but... How would you describe your voice? Um, I'd say it's, um, people have told me. <laughs> my voice is, uh, it's, it's pure, and it, um... It comes, it's quite classical sounding, I guess, but um, as I'm getting older, it's getting a bit richer and, and more versatile. So it's kind of hard to say what my voice is like. I don't know, pure is the kind of the word that keeps popping up. Would you say you do a bit of classical and a bit of pop? <laughs> yeah, I do. I mean, I, um, I, I sort of started out in cl more in classical music. I didn't really study it. Um, didn't go to a classical uh, opera school or anything, but um, I like classical music. And then, um, you know, I, bit by bit, I sort of got into pop music and, or just, or more f songs like Joni Mitchell songs. Um, I've started, I started writing as well. And yeah, sorry, time, I'm taking. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you described as pitch perfect. Yeah, um, that I'm. I'm not really pitch perfect. I've got relative like good relative pitch um, and so I, I you know it's um, I you, can sing in tune <laughs> do, you, always helpful. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a pre-concert routine um, I, I guess I do um, I like I like my own space before I go on um, some artists they love being like they love the fuss and, and all that and I just love being on my own and um, and do you feel the nerves? 
I, I do, yeah. If I don't get a little bit nervous, like, that makes me a bit worried. <laughs> I have to I have to have a few nerves um, before I go on stage, yeah. And what do you do when you can completely switch off and you have your own space, you're nowhere near a concert? You've got 10 seconds or so. Okay, to um, I like playing my guitar, which I'm just working on at the moment, or just, like, crashing on the couch with the television, which is bliss. <laughs> and how many instruments do you play? Uh, Three, four. <laughs> <laughs> That's five minutes.